scary couple of days for vacationers there, I'm sure, even the locals. Yeah, especially because this is the big vacation time of the year, so I'm sure Honey many people are there and... Yeah, Lauren's been tracking Hurricane Julio. What can people there expect? Well, let's take a look. I have a uh, little graphic here up that is actually tracking the storm using our uh, Storm Shield Doppler application. And here's a closer look at Hurricane Julio. Here is uh, what we can predict it uh, hitting by Sunday into Monday. By Saturday night, we are still going to be tracking about winds 90 miles per hour, gusts up to 115 miles per hour. And there is the eye of that storm really starting to move west, but it's going to uh, possibly just hit north of Hawaii at about 150 miles per hour. Uh, the biggest majority of the storm is going to hit on Sunday night, and then it's going to linger into Monday. But many forecasters around the area are saying that they don't think it's going to impact the state as a whole as much as we expected because it could just be going north. But here, switching gears into Kern County as we make our way over to California, we're tracking a nice marine layer off the central coast, which is going to just cool things down a little bit. Uh, cold front is heading our way as soon as Monday, and that's going to cool temperatures into the mid 90s for us. Tehachapi looking nice and clear right now. Air quality, though, is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Just something to be aware of. And then we are at 101 today, uh, exactly what we forecasted for, but hopefully today will be the last triple digit day of the uh, week. Winds are northwest at 10 miles per hour and as you can see temperatures are looking nice and mild right now. We're seeing 102 in California City, 100 over in Taft, 84 along our mountain range and very, very uh, seasonal. A little bit above average. We did get up to 101, but our normal is about 97 degrees. So we were just a little bit above average, not as much as we could be. If you are traveling throughout the weekend though, here's what you have to expect. 80 in South Lake Tahoe, 100 in Fresno, 70 in San Francisco. Francisco. Along the central coast, we are going to see that marine layer foggy patches until about 11 a.m. and then things will finally clear out for a gorgeous beach day tomorrow. 87 in Anaheim, 105 in Palm Springs, and 76 down in San Diego. Here along the valley floor, hopefully 90s tomorrow in Bakersfield and we won't hit that 100 degree mark, but 99 in Arvin as well as in Delano. Mid 90s to upper 90s in Isabella, 88 in Tehachapi, quite mild. Overnight lows in the 60s. And then over in our desert region, we are going to get up to 102 in Ridgecrest, 90 at the Edwards Air Force Base as well as California City. So air quality will remain unhealthy for sensitive groups. Please take precaution if you have COPD or asthma, anything like that uh, for the entirety of the weekend. And then finally, here's a look at your seven day numbers. A little bit of rain we're tracking Monday afternoon into uh, Monday evening and then overnight into the early mornings of Tuesday. We could see some sprinkles, but especially in the mountains and desert regions. And then it's going to shift towards the uh, Sierra Nevada crest. Temperatures are going to stay, though, in the mid to upper 90s for the rest of the week. And hopefully we won't reach that 100 degree mark. Overnight lows are going to stay in the lower 70s. So nice and comfortable at night. Over in your Kern River Valley, we're going to track that 20% chance of uh, scattered thunderstorms into Monday, uh, Monday night into Tuesday as well. Uh, overnight lows in the 60s and then we're going to stay in the mid to lower 90s for the rest of the weekend. Finally in your mountain forecast 88 tomorrow gorgeous mm -hmm. dropping to 86 as we can expect a couple drops of rain there and then uh, Tuesday that cloud coverage will begin to clear out into Wednesday mid 80s for the rest of the week there overnight lows in the lower 60s. So a little bit of rain in the forecast but if nothing else we're going to see mid 90s so very seasonal. I'll tell you, it does not even feel like summer, especially in the mountains. Yeah, exactly. It's great. So keep it keep it coming. Yes, you're doing something right. <laughs> yeah. <long. laughs> All right.